notwithstanding the behavior we've seen this past year, people are still supporting them, even though we've seen the, you know, the drastic impacts it's had on people's families and their businesses. So on that note, I, I do want to mention, because there's, we, we on this program are not really a part of the left-right political paradigm. I, you know, if, if whether you're a leftist or a right winger, you're wrong. So, but with that said, <laughs> there's, there's plenty of blame to go around. I'll start with, I have a lot more to say about my righties, but we'll get to them last. As it pertains to the left wing, this is why I can't take the left wingers seriously on this topic. This is, this is it. The left wingers, they understand that police are a problem, but they don't. And, and they may even want to abolish police, defund the police, all that. And hey, right on. I'm, I'm right there with you. If we're, if we're going to snatch up all the weapons of war, start with disarming all cops. That's where we'll start. So I'm right with you, buddy. But here's the problem. They don't, they don't really want to get rid of the institution of police. They just want to be able to control the boot. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and that is quite evidenced by the fact that the same people who are out there rioting and protesting over things like uh, Derek Chauvin and, and George Floyd uh, and, and countless other examples that you listen. And, and, and those things deserve to be rant and raved about. But those same people then are perfectly content to have law enforcement enforce the laws and regulations they like, such as gun control. The, the two things that absolutely kill the left on this, the left is, is an embarrassment to itself on this, is gun control and the fact that they elected Biden-Harris. Biden, the author of the 94 crime <laughs> bill, and Harris, yeah. the, probably the most vile, despicable, corrupt, just POSs, cops, that have ever walked the face of the earth. And they elected them mm -hmm. to the executive chair. And, and, then, and then certain last but certainly not least, gun control. Way more often than not, that is the, the political chasm that supports gun control. And it just doesn't reckon that you, want, you would want to, in some way, hamstring, if not outright abolish, the police state, but then turn around and also say you want to disarm the population. The, odd, the two biggest issues there being, number one, who's going to disarm the population? You're going to need that police state to disarm the yep. population, and then you're not going to be happy with the way they go about doing it. And the second problem is, is that when the police aren't there, everyone likes to talk about the meme of the rooftop Koreans. You know, there's a riot going on. The Koreans are up on top of their business with their rifles, yeah. and, then they, and then they don't get looted. Funny thing that, because armed people being allowed the agency to defend their lives and property way more often than not come out ahead. And you're going to need that in a world where you don't have the police. I want a world, just to be clear, I want that world. I want the world without the police state as we know it. But you're going to have to then allow sovereign individuals to defend themselves and their property. But that's the left. Now let's, now let's get to, we've, we've actually talked about Republicans <laughs> probably the last three, four, five episodes on the show. And I'll mm -hmm. just be damned if conservatives don't just keep one-upping themselves on just how useless and pathetic they are. And, and I'm not going to call on any names, but Suzanne, I saw your thread, and I know for a fact that a majority of the people that felt like justice was not served today were of a right-wing persuasion. Would you say I'm being fair in saying that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So here's the problem, my, my right-wingers. Uh, we've even shared these memes on the show before. Folks... When those Democrats that you, the demon rats that you are afraid of getting into office that are, that are up to election fraud and QAnon said that they're going to who do you and they're going to put their lizard people in. When those people get in and they pass all sorts of laws to restrict your rights and liberties, who do you think will enforce it? It will be that thin blue line that you prostrate yourself to will be the ones who enforce all the laws you think are immoral, unethical, unconstitutional, whatever you want to call it. They're going to be the ones. We see the footage all the time when, when they're dragging people out of churches because they're not allowed to have service right now for mm -hmm. a reason that we're not going to mention on tonight's show. Uh, when you see them hassling old, frail old men on the street, uh, when you see them escalate 
escalating. You brought up the 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 army lieutenant who the, it's ironically enough, and, and look, I have no love for the troops either, by the way, but it's the army lieutenant of all people who's trying to de-escalate while the pigs outside the SUV, they're trying to escalate. Let's be mm -hmm. honest with yeah. ourselves. They're trying to escalate because they don't fear you one iota. I don't believe a single officer who uses that defense. They have no fear of you because, and this is getting around to the big topic of really our whole program here. We are against the state. And what does the state have? A monopoly on violence. That is that is and will always be the single biggest reason why I will always disapprove of the police. There are no such thing as good cops. They are all feeding into that system, and that system is inherently broken from the word go if they have a monopoly on violence.